Welcome to day 10 of the diary of a multifaceted mama. I have had so many reflections today. Um, today was not a work day, professional work day. It was a mama day and I really enjoyed it. I did catch myself a few times thinking about work, um, you know, things that, um, you know, should I post certain things or shouldn't I post and kind of shooting myself around, um, kind of getting the word out more and more about uh, certain things that I'm offering my mentorship business. And I caught myself and, and redirected myself. And so that's certainly an area, um, that we could perhaps call, you know, call a challenge, um, that I'm always continuing to raise awareness around and to redirect in a way that is helpful. But I really did have a lot of reflections today. And part of those reflections came in that kind of self redirection that I was giving myself as I was thinking about, well, maybe I want to post this, maybe I want to post this. Oh, wait, I want to focus, actually. I just want to focus on being present with the baby. And then I was supposed to, when the baby went down for a nap, finish up the tax documents that I need to upload. Um, and I did, although baby did not nap very well today. Definitely four month regression still in play here, but she did take one good nap today. The other naps weren't so great, but we were able to, to enjoy our day together. And in my reflections, um, today, as I was hanging out with her, we went on some walks outside and I just kept bringing myself back to the present. And I was, one of the reflections um, that I was thinking about was, you know, years ago when I was a single mom with my first, my first child, my first daughter, um, this was back, you know, 13 years ago now, um, someone, and I don't remember who, but someone asked me, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? What will you be doing? And I said something like, I can't tell you exactly what I'll be doing. I don't know exactly where I'll be in five years, but I do know I'll have a five-year-old daughter. And I've always remembered that for some reason, it's been very important to me. Now, I've always been someone that has had goals. Um, and so I, I did have different goals and such, you know for my future um, at the time, but really what was most prominent to me when I answered that question was that I would be the mother of a five-year-old. And fast forward to now, and that daughter is 13, and my newest daughter is just a few months old. And so today I was thinking in five years, where will I be? What will I be doing? What do I want to see happen? And that made me think about how relative time is. And it really put in perspective for me, you know, Tony, in five years, you're going to have a five-year-old daughter. You also have a daughter that has graduated high school. Time is so relative. Use it wisely. And there's something so meaningful about this reflection with myself while I was being really present with my youngest today and thinking about how relative time is that there's really no rush. There's really no rush. No rush business-wise, no rush parenting-wise, no rush marriage-wise. There's really no rush. It was a really good reminder. And one that I think we all need sometimes. It's funny, no matter how many times I've done deep work with myself, um, no matter how many times I've had these aha moments, again and again and again, it doesn't fail, that there is another reminder that helps ground me back 
and some of the important things to remember, and this is one of them, is that time is relative. And it's really important that we choose it wisely, that we use it wisely. And that there doesn't need to be any rush. It's so important to me, you know, the reason I started my mentorship business was for ultimately the creative, the innovative impact, the wider impact and influence that I believed it would allow me to offer to the world in my own unique way. And that is still very true to me. And so it doesn't matter, does it really matter if it's, if every single piece of it is not exactly how or where it, I think it quote unquote should be? No, because the reality is that my business ventures have done what I wanted them to do. They have been successful in that way. They have helped me to grow in so many ways. They've allowed me help so many people do I desire to continue to grow my mission through my businesses for a global impact heck yes am I on that route heck yes does it matter how long it takes that's what the reminder today of my reflections brought up for me. It doesn't matter how long it takes. As long as I'm enjoying the journey with integrity, in alignment with my values, enjoying my life as mom, as wife, as friend, as daughter, as therapist, as mentor, The timing, I can't control it. And so why try to rush it? That doesn't mean not to have any goals or any desires, because of course I do, I always will. But the goals and the desires aren't needing to be the end game, right? And this is something I talk about, I've talked about so many times in my work. Uh, with just the work that I put out there as well as work with clients is that like it's so easy to get wrapped up in I should do this or um, I have to hit this goal and then and then I'll be successful or then I'll be happy or then I'll be good or then everything will be better but the truth is there's always something next if you're ambitious if you're a visionary if you're a leader if you are someone that has desires and goals, right, for life or work or relationships or whatever the case may be, then there will always be a next thing after the next thing. So if our happiness or sense of success for ourselves depends upon completing the next thing and there's always the next thing, then we never get to experience it. And so I just really appreciate I'm really grateful for the reminders that came up for me today and the reflections that I was having is that there's no rush I'm doing what I'm doing in my life and, and and I've created this lifestyle and will continue to lean into creating a lifestyle that supports myself and my family with where we're at as well as where we want to go not one or the other but both and in the meantime, I choose to be present because a huge part of the reason why 
the lifestyle matters is because it allows me to be that present involved mom that I want to be for my kids. You know, I've always wanted to be a mom. I've also always wanted to be a person who professionally helps others. And I get to be both of those things. I'm so grateful. And so I want to show up present for both of those things. There's no rush for the next thing and the next thing. There will always be a next thing. There'll always be a next thing for me as a mom. Because one is going to get older and then older and older. And the other one's going to get older and older and older. One's going to hit this milestone and this milestone and this milestone. The other one's going to hit this milestone, this milestone, this milestone. This one's going to want to do this and this and this. And this one's going to want to do this, this and this. This one's going to be challenged in this way. And I'm going to support them there. And this one's going to be challenged in this way. I'm going to support them there. There's always going to be a next thing. So if I'm not willing to be present in the here and now and enjoy the here and now and do my best to fully show up with an integrity, within alignment with my values here and now as mom, as wife, as therapist, as partner, as mentor, as friends, as everything, then what am I doing, right? Like, what are we doing? What are you doing if we're only ever focused on what we don't have, what we won't have? Or what we should have. How are we ever enjoying what we have? It just doesn't work that way. And I think that's a reminder that so many people need right now. I know I see it all the time. So I just feel so grateful that these reflections are coming up for me today. Because it really, really grounded me back into why this lifestyle that I've created for myself and my family is so meaningful to me because I want, I want to be a mom that not just I'm proud of, but of a mom that my kids are proud of. I want to be a mom that not just I feel really good about being, but that my kids feel really good looking back on being able to say, oh, man, I had a really great mom. I'm so thankful for her. I can rely on her. I can trust her. I know she's there for me. I know she loves me without a doubt. That is so important to me. No, she wasn't perfect. No, I wasn't perfect. But she didn't expect perfection from us either, right? It means so much to me that I could be that kind of mom. And if I'm stuck in my head, worried about this, that, or the other, always focused on some kind of future goal or always trying to push myself in business or in some other way, like I'm not fully showing up for them or for myself, right? And if we don't catch ourselves before going down that slippery slope, then we go down that slippery slope. And so much momentum builds up that it's hard to jump off that slide. So we just keep on <coughs> till we get that to the end of it, right? Until we kind of crash at some point. And so today, just noticing where some my mind was going a few times and then being able to have these reflections and really redirect within myself. It's like, it like I could see I was approaching the very top of that slide of that slope. And I looked at it and I'm like, nope, not worth it. Not going back down that. Been there before. Right? So that's an area where I've grown. Spent many, many years growing in that area. And it's an area where I'd like to continue to grow forever. I want to continue to grow there because I know that forever I can practice being more and more present in any given moment. Forever I can practice catching myself before going down a particular slippery slope, whatever slippery mental slope that might be for me. Practice noticing it and redirecting myself. Or if I go down a slippery slope, forgiving myself so I can give myself some grace and move back into a better position. So much good came out of today. Good experiences 
with just being present. Present with all of my children today. And I'll say one last thing that um, I'm grateful for is that uh, my husband and I have been talking about for a little bit practicing dance, doing a dance class as, as a couple. And if you asked me five years ago, if this is something that we'd be doing together, I would have said no. Um, I just would not have believed that that was something that we would have been able to get on the same page about. But now we are, we, we started um, a trial class and really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun and did a little practice, you know, 30, 60 seconds, something like that, like practice tonight after we got the kids in bed and I'm grateful for the fun that we can have together. And so I hope that's a reminder to you. If you are out there busy in life, focused on goals, focused on the future, that maybe you can find some gratitude in your life right now, that maybe you can find an area where you can be more present right now, that maybe you could have some more fun with yourself or someone you love right now. It makes such a difference. I'll see you guys next time.